Hello, this is Dan Fashionbauer from Video Pizzazz. And today I'm going to show you how to use the YouTube video editor to remove countdown timer information that gets put on my live stream upload to YouTube. So let's go to my YouTube channel and I'm going to go to Video Manager. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here. I'm going to find a video. Let's see here. All right, this one here, Best Milwaukee, Wisconsin Car Accident Lawyer. I did a live stream upload on this video to YouTube using a product called Video Composer Pro, which does a really nice, slick job of streaming existing videos to YouTube. But one of the things that they do is they put a countdown timer at the beginning of it as they're connecting with YouTube and starting the stream. And I don't want that countdown timer, so I'll show you what the countdown timer looks like. If I click on the video here, see it's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then the video starts. I want to delete that 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 intro off of my video. So what I'll do is I'll come over here and click here, click on Creator Studio, and then come down here to Create Video Editor. And then I'll have to scroll down and find the video that I want. And right here is Best Milwaukee. Select it with a click, and I'll drag it down here to the timeline. All right, so I'll put this back to the beginning. Now you can click on the camera here to get your editing options. So I'll click here. And you'll notice now I have a, whoops, I'm going to stop the video play. You'll notice now I have a little line here with a scissors in it, which is a split clip feature. So wherever I click this, it's going to split my video into two pieces. Or you could continue on and keep clipping it and make it into multiple sections. But all I'm interested in today is to get rid of the, the intro. So I'm going to slide this back here to the beginning and I'm going to click play and I'm going to stop it right after it gets done with the one after the five, four, three, two, one. So I'm going to play the video. Four, three, two, one. There. So this is where I want to start my video. So I'll just come down here now and I'll click the split clip here on the scissors. And you'll notice now it made it into two separate clips. So this is the clip I want to get rid of. So I'll click on this clip to select it. I'm going to stop the video again. And then there's a little X up here in the right corner of that clip for remove clip. So I'll click on that and it'll remove it. All right, so now I can play my clip without having that stream countdown timer at the beginning of it. Okay, so that's what I want saved. But now one thing I noticed is that the video editor doesn't allow you to overwrite the original video with the same name. Right now it's going to get saved out as my edited video. But if I put in the name of the original video right here and clicked on create video, it'll save it as a dash one or something like that. It, it will not overwrite the original video. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save it as my edited video and then I'm just going to modify the name once that's saved. All right, so then I'm going to come over here and click on create video. It says we're processing this video. Check back later. Okay, so my video has been processed. It took, I don't know, two or three minutes for the process, but this is a pretty short video. So it all depends on how long your video is for the processing time. All right, so you'll see here now that I have this new video called My Edited Video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my channel. I'm going to go into the Video Manager again. And I'm going to delete the original video that I didn't want because of the uh, 54321. So I'll come down here and find the Best Milwaukee Wisconsin Car Accident Lawyer. That's the one I want to delete. So I'll click here and I'll click on delete. Yes. So now what I want to do is I want to edit this video here called my edited video and rename it back to the uh, original name that I want. So I'll come down here and click on edit. 
one thing I should have noted too that this is a uh, unlisted that's why I'm able to do all this stuff without affecting YouTube because I have not made this video public yet so you'll notice that the original file was a stream str and after you edit the file it's a flv format now i'm not sure if that's going to change your rankings because youtube likes to rank stream files better than the flv file so i'm not sure how that affects ranking but we're just going to go with this anyway so what I'm going to do now is come down here and I'm going to change the name of it. Best Milwaukee, Wisconsin Car Accident Lawyer. And I'm going to take this out of here, put that in there. I'm going to delete this tag and I'm going to create a new tag. Okay, and then I can go over to advanced settings, people and blogs, see what else we got here. Maybe we'll go for auto and vehicles and then the uh, the location, we're going to put in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, search, okay, we're going to video the language, we're going to select on English, and recording date, we're going to say it's today, and uh, caption certification, we're going to say that this content has never aired on U.S. television, click on save changes, then we can go back to basic information and we can click on add playlist click on create a new playlist this in here best Milwaukee Wisconsin car accident lawyer click on return click create and it makes it the default here right now so then we should be able to publish so we're going to click here make it public and then again, we're gonna copy this here, put that in here. And I don't have a Twitter account that I wanna put this on or that I have linked to this YouTube channel right now. I'm just going to post it to my Google Plus and we'll click on Publish. Now, if we come back here, go to our channel, I go to Video Manager, see that my edited video is gone. And now the best Milwaukee, Wisconsin car accident lawyer is at the top and it's set to public. If it's got this emblem here, it's unlisted, but this says public now. And if I click on this, see that the uh, countdown intro timer is now gone. So I hope you found that uh, useful and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.